it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a massive bookish unboxing for you. So stay tuned. So today I have eight bookish boxes to unbox for you. I've got two KiwiCo boxes, two Totally Book Crate boxes, one Second Star Books box, and three Shelf Love Reads. So I'm super excited to get into all these boxes. So, well, let's just dig right in. Oh, and if there's any discount codes, I'll make sure to put that in the description as well as links to all of these boxes. Okay, so we'll start with the Second Star Books. I believe this is my last Second Star Books because I did cancel my subscription to this. Money and, well, the boxes have been less than impressive for me lately for the price that I pay for them. Let's see how this one goes. So opening it up, looks like so. The one I get is, or the boxes that I've been getting from them are the seasonal boxes, not their monthly box, because they have more stuff in them. Okay, so the season for spring is through the garden gate. I must not have gotten the summer one. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little behind on this. The reason I picked the seasonal ones was because their original monthly box came with two books. There was a classic with like a special cover that they did and then a new book. And when they switched to their, they switched up their monthly boxes, that was what they were doing in their seasonal box instead. So I liked getting the two books. So that was why I, um switch to the seasonal one. Though I did discover that this particular box was only going to have one book and I think in the future ones they're only going to have the one book and for me that didn't really equal the value of the box. Okay so the first thing is this really cool looking candle. It's called Secret Gardens and it's bergamot, lilac, and vetiver and it's in this really pretty purple metal jar. And it's a wood candle, or a wood wick candle. It has a very soft, flowery scent. Looks like that. Smells nice. Then we have an enamel pin here, which is a bird. It's like carrying a chain with a little key on it. Then we have a box inside the box. Oh, it's another candle by Second Star Books. Rain on the Moor, Lily, Ozone, and Sandalwood. It's an interesting smell. It does have that like rain smell to it. And it's another wood wick candle. And it's just white, looks like that. The lid has this cute little flowery design on it. Got another box. Super light. I have no idea what. Oops. Um, okay. So, I don't know if this is still alive, but this is a sea urchin air plant display. And this is for care tips. I'm going to give a website. It's been sitting in here for months, so it's probably dead, but looks like that. And it has this like almost shell kind of thing to sit on slash in. I'll look and see if it's possible that it survived. I don't know. Okay, so apparently my battery's going to die, so let me change that out. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. All right, next up we have the book. I'm gonna stick this aside for now because there's more stuff in the box still. Okay, so there's another box in here. Okay, so there's this really pretty secret garden quote display glass panel. It says, and the secret garden bloomed and bloomed and every morning revealed new miracles. And then there's this pretty little thing here that you stick in there, I guess, for I don't know, propping it up? I don't really know. Oh, I think I get it, hold on. 
the top of that screws off. So it works like a little stand for it. Anyway, it looks like this. How pretty. And then this is like a little gem. Let's see. Yeah, cool. It's weird that it's just on the side like that though. Because it could easily... Okay, but yeah, that's cool. All right, next we have this little package. Ooh, whatever it is, it's super soft. Oh, it's a little pillowcase. It says, I am sure there is magic in everything. And it's like, uh, I really don't know how to describe this material, but it's so soft. Maybe it says, because I'm terrible. It just says extra soft and cuddly for your enjoyment. But it's like those really soft blankets. That's what it feels like. I do love getting like pillowcases and things like that in these boxes. Okay, now onto the book. I bet you can guess what the book is. <laughs> it is The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson, Hodgson Burnett. Looks like that. And on the back it says, if you look the right way, you can see that the whole world is a garden. I mean, it's an absolutely gorgeous cover. It's amazing they make them so short, but oh, the pages are tall and the words are tiny. So I actually have another version of this book somewhere back here. It's right, oh, right here. Right there. It also has that velvety kind of matte finish. I really like that. I really would continue with this box if it had included the two books. I think it's really cool you get the classic with the special cover, but they also were including, I think like a debut author or just, you know, a newer release book with it. And that I thought was really cool. The fact that they stopped with the newer release, to me, it took a lot away from the box. And that's why I canceled it. Okay, now on to my Totally Book Crate boxes. These, I don't know which order they go in, what months they're for. I know that she's, I think she's behind on her months. I don't know. But I do always enjoy her boxes. Okay, opening it up and it looks like so. There went our card. There you go. Okay, so the card here, it says Embrace the Darkness Within. Pretty card. This was for April. So we have a little candle here. Malachase. I don't know. It says we're all monsters, Nadia. Some of us are, just hide it better than others. And that's Amber, Vanilla, and Magic. Now this book. Cody from Cody's Book Corner just read this book not that long ago in a vlog. Wicked Saints, yes. Wicked Saints, okay. Yeah, it's definitely like a, a musky kind of smell. And it's blue with a little bit of red glitter. A little candle. Next we have Adelina Milk Soaking Salts. This is made exclusively for Totally Book Crate by Latherati.com. Looks like that. Let's open it up. Okay, I don't want to end up spilling these. Looks like so. There's a little bit of a floral scent and like a milky kind of scent, which I mean it's milk soaking salt, so there you go. That was inspired by the Young Elites. Next, we have a little keychain. The monster is me, and I am the monster. I'm guessing that's Wicked King as well. No, that's inspired by Nikolai from King of Scars. It looks like that. Then we have a very cool book sleeve. 
And this was inspired by a Six of Crows and it has Kaz Brecker on it. It looks like this. This is very cool. So it's got like a little button thing with red on the inside. So you can put your book in there and then you can also stick something down in the front of here as well, which is really cool. And then the little tag here says, Baby My Book. And there was also like a little bookmark in here. Love book sleeves or this bookmark. Find even more great stuff at etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash baby my book. Use code bookbox10 to save 10%. And then the bookmark looks like this. It's one that folds. Let me test out different size books in here. Here's a big one. Children of Blood and Bone. It's thick. It's wide. It's tall. And it fits perfect. And it'll button closed. That's pretty cool. So yeah, can pretty much hold any book with this. I like that. It's not too small. Oh, and then the book is Wicked Saints. That is unfortunate because I've already got that from a different box. I think it was the Alcrate box that I got it in. The hardcover looks like that. So I have the two different covers. Let me see if I can find it. Okay. So here is the original Wicked Saints cover. And here is the Alcrate exclusive cover. I still prefer this cover better. But this says... Some stories are so beautiful, so brutal, that they clutch your heart and refuse to let go. Welcome to the world of Wicked Saints, an epic, passionate novel that you won't soon forget. Prepare to meet a girl named Nadia who hears the whispers of the gods inside her head, a prince surrounded by desperate suitors and deadly assassins, a monster hidden behind pale, tortured eyes and a smile that cuts like a knife. The paths of these three characters become entwined during a centuries-long war filled with sinners and saints, magic and mystery, and a star-crossed romance that threatens to tip the scales between dark and light forever. And there's not like a letter from the author or anything. And it's not signed. Okay. And that is all that is in that box. On to the next box, which is a really interesting shape. It's like wider than usual but it's like thinner this way all right this one looks like so so this is for march so yeah i think she is quite a bit behind at this point all right so taking off the tissue paper and it looks like this so first thing we have in here is a tote bag it says, you can help me pick out a tiara when we're done saving the world. Crest by Marissa Meyer. And I think this was actually supposed to be in the February box. And it didn't end up showing up. So she was sending them in this box. Something like that. Anyway, so there's that. Then we have a little notebook with a fairy on it. And it says, all you need is faith, trust, and pixie dust. So I think it's... Tinkerbell. It looks like that. And it's just lined paper like this. Oh, and a little pen here. Then we have Always Wear Your Berries Perfume Oil by Latherati. Looks like this. And we open it up and it's just a little roller ball. It's like a fruity smell. Let's see what the card says. An exclusive always wear your berries perfume inspired by the fairy knowledge we acquired during our visits to the fairy realm. Oh, and the characters we've met along the way. Apply daily to protect yourself from the wicked fae and their fairy glamours. Okay. All right, next we have a little candle. It's Artifact of Nowhere, written in wax. And this is Blackberries and Darkness. 
it's sort of a musky smell with a little hint of a fruit smell and it's purple the lid looks like that okay then we have this really cool looking tumbler it says do not be deceived by the politeness of the fae and this is from the iron king by julie kagawa and is pink looks like that the top looks like so this is really cool so this screws in and then you can also seal it that's awesome and then there's the book okay inside we have some bookish goodies there's a super cute uh bookmark here it almost looks like it's hand drawn and it's signed on the back it's a cute little fairy i thought she looked familiar it's uh from fern gully that's pretty cool and then there's also a an exclusive card and print inspired by the wicked king okay and then the book i haven't seen this it looks really cool it's never contented things by sarah porter and it looks super creepy oh it's black with gold font seductive cruel board be wary of never contented things prince and his fairy courtiers are staggeringly beautiful astonishingly cruel and exhausted by the tedium of the centuries until they meet foster siblings josh and cassinia drawn in by their vivid emotions undying love for each other and passion for life prince will stop at nothing to possess them first seduced and then entrapped by the fairies josh and kinesia learn that the fairies otherworldly gifts come at a terrible price and they must risk everything in order to reclaim their freedom okay i haven't heard of this book it's interesting how it's written too like the margins are really small and it goes pretty close to the top and bottom let's see how long this is okay so she's the author of vasa in the night and when i cast your shadow let's see there are 364 pages though it it almost seems like the way it's written with the very small margins that it could easily be like an over 400 page book book if it were done as like regular books but it's such a creepy looking cover i freaking love that look that is just oh i love it okay digging that cover big time Okay, that's all that is in that box. Oh, and I was wrong about having only two of the KiwiCo boxes. I actually found another one when I got up a minute ago. So here's the, one of them. These are not in any particular order. We have also canceled our subscription to this as well because it's getting where Xander's not as interested in it. So this these may be the last of them of the subscription so if you didn't know we used to get tinker crate now we get doodle crate and it comes with uh, a book and a project so the project is make your own desktop cork board design a custom cork board and wooden push pin set and it comes with all of the stuff to do that so you have a little guide here little magazine it shows you everything that comes in the box what your final project should be like here and just different ways you can design and color it and uh, you can paint your pens and then step-by-step -step directions on how to like build your cork board and all that stuff so we have like some tape some other kind of tape like washi tape um uh, some beige fabric stuff uh different push pins stencils paint a little sponge brush a paint brush with a very tiny tip some little like quote cards 
the frame and stand for the cork board and the actual cork board. And then the book is an art activity book packed with activities and art facts. You got complimentary colors, sketching, just all kinds of stuff. Okay, the next one is make handcrafted relief prints. Learn foam printmaking to design and create your own colorful stamps. Opening it up, it looks like that. So that's the kind of stuff we're making. Anyway, same kind of thing. And it shows you how to do textures and different shapes and how to make a print. Designing with templates, designing freehand, creative writing, some inspiration. Then it looks like we have some ink wells. A bunch of different foam pieces in different shapes. Don't know if you can see here, but there's like fish shapes and just all kinds of stuff. And then looks like there's different stencils and a printing plate and paper, a glue stick, a little, I forget what this is called, but it's like you can do little dots and stuff with it, and a pencil. And then the book is Imagine, Experiment, Create. This book thinks you're an artist. Okay. There are sculptures to build, portraits to draw, selfies to colorize, and manifestos to write. And once you've done all that, you can open a gallery in your bedroom, decorate it with your own wallpaper. There are even portable art studio pages at the back for you to cut out, fold, and create art with, as well as an inspiration scrapbook for you to fill with your own ideas. So, that's neat. Okay, and then the last box is make your own graphic backpack. Get creative with screen printing and design your own custom backpack. Looks like that. So this is cool. You get a little drawstring backpack and get to design it. So again, shows you what's all in here. Practice screen printing, design your graphic, screen print your backpack, and some inspiration. So there's different screen printing stencils in here. Um, some cardboard. The little drawstring backpack. The uh, like a little screen printing board. And I think something to scrape with here. And some screen printing ink in white. And then the book is Modern Art Mayhem. Create your own adventure and save the gallery from disaster. When the director of the local art gallery calls in sick, it's up to you to put everything together in time for the local competition. Do you know enough about modern art to wow the judges and win the competition? Make your way through this thrilling adventure using your art knowledge to decide how the plot unfolds. Complete your mission and become an artistic whiz. Okay. So I guess it's like a story, but with stuff to do. Okay, so it's like a choose your own adventure kind of thing. So it's like, where do you want to take them? You could take them to the painting show, showing every day objects, and you flip to page nine. The area where all the pictures of people still standing still, page 18, or to the sculpture area, page 36. And like puzzles and stuff to figure out. Well, this is cool. That could be fun. Okay, now on to the Shelf Love Reads boxes. I'm really excited about these. I ordered a bunch of different ones to kind of test them out and see what I thought. There's one that hasn't arrived yet that I ordered, but there was like a big mix up and for some reason it's been like months and I haven't gotten it. So I've been talking to the Shelf Love reads people and they're supposed to be getting that box to me hopefully soon. So that'll just be in my next one. Okay, again, these are not in any particular order. There's three of them. I don't know which month's which. Okay, first one looks like this. We get our little flyer here. So 
It looks like we have the letter from the author inside this. Um, spoilers. So this is the May box and the May theme is On The Go Reads. A lot of their boxes are available to like, well, they have a few boxes anyway that are available to order like past boxes. Though when you do place an order with them, make sure you only order one box at a time because if you order more than one box at a time, it messes everything up. So only order one at a time. Okay, next is this really cute enamel pen that says, check me out, love it. Little stack of books. And this is designed by Dust and Pages. And then the tote. I adore the tote. Every adventure requires a first step. Lewis Carroll. And it is an Alice in Wonderland tote. It's super cute. It's the tea party with Alice and the Mad Hatter. Adorable. And then there's a box. Oh, it's a mug. It says, when in doubt, go to the library. And this is a glass mug and it is super cute. Love this a lot. Nice. Then we've got something wrapped up here. Oh my gosh. Love this. Okay, it's a wallet and it's got all these Penguin Classic books lined up on it. How stinking cute. It's like that on both sides. Okay, so we open it up and it's just, you know, standard wallet. But I love that. I would certainly use that. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Okay, I had to look to see exactly what these are called. These are the Lending Bookmark Set. It says, nervous about lending out your personal library books? Keep track of who borrowed your precious books and when with these handy lending bookmarks. Send them with a bookmark and keep the tear off portion below for your records. So it's like a little pad and on the top here it says from the library of and you put your name and then there's the author and then the title and it looks like a little library card where it says date due and borrower's name and then a little thing that you can tear off the bottom that's got who borrowed it and then you can check off when it returns and then on the back it says if found please return to and you put your like name and address and stuff and there's like a phone a place for your phone number and for your email and then on the back of the little thing that you tear off and keep it has title and author apparently one of them detached so yeah there's one detached here so i have to stick that in there but it looks like this. So it looks like that. And then you have the little thing you tear off here. And then the back looks like this. And then here's the little part you tear off. Very, very, very cool. I really like this a lot. Okay, then we've got something in a little plastic baggie. Okay, so I do want to say that I decided to check these out because they are YA book boxes, but they're geared more towards like 21 and up. They are book, it comes with a bunch of bookish items, but not fandom items. So there is a shelf love crate, which is like YA fandom bookish box, like owl crate and all of that kind of stuff. But and all of the items are fandom base, just like your typical book subscription box. But then the shelf love reads is bookish items instead of fandom items, which is really awesome. Though I guess they do put some fandom items in there because this is a little bit of a fandom item. It is a full size pillowcase and Oh my gosh, I freaking love this so much. <laughs> it is a library card from the Hogwarts Library. So it's for the title, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, author Newt Scamander, and the list of borrowers' names. We have Albus Dumbledore, due date 22nd of March, 1927. Rubius Hagrid, October 18, 
Tom Marvell Riddle, April 1st, 1943. Lily Evans, February 11th, 1974. Hermione Granger, September 26, 1991. Harry Potter, November 23rd, 1994. Luna Lovegood, December 24th, 1994. And Hermione Granger again, January 17th, 1996. This is such a cool item. I really, really love this. And now we are down to the book. And it has some bookish goodies with it. So we'll do those first. So there is a bookmark here, which is a card catalog drawer from a library. And it's a, a shelf love bookmark. And the book is Opposite of Always by Justin A. Reynolds. And it is green with this yellow font. And it comes with a assigned book plate. And as we saw in the little card here, it does come with a letter from the author. So I'll read that. Or I'll try to. It's super pixelated. It says, Dear Reader, first and foremost, thank you so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. I wrote this book after suffering deep personal loss and I share it with you with something something that it will offer you a lot of the same comfort, the same pace it offered me. There's a story about family, the one given to you and the one you choose. This is a story about friends how we make them and how we sometimes marry them. Okay, I'm not going to try to read this because look, it's so pixelated. It's so freaking hard to read. Let me just read what it says on the book here. Jake Elson King, King of Almost. He almost made Valedictorian. He almost made Varsity. He almost got the girl. Until, when Jack and Kate meet at a party, bonding until sunrise over their mutual love of Fruit Loops, their favorite flicks, Jack knows he's falling hard. Soon, she's meeting his best friends, Jillian and Franny, and Kate wins them over as easily as she did Jack. Jack's curse of almost is finally over. But this love story is complicated. It's an almost happily ever after. Because Kate dies. And their story should end there, yet Kate's death sends Jack back to the beginning, the moment they first met, and Kate's there again, beautiful, radiant Kate, healthy, happy, and charming as ever. Jack isn't sure if he's losing his mind. Still, if he has a chance to prevent Kate's death, he'll take it, even if that means believing in time travel. However, Jack will learn that his actions are not without consequences. And when one choice turns deadly for someone else close to him, he has to figure out what he's willing to do and let go to save the people he loves. From debut author Justin A. Reynolds comes a, a razor-sharp, hilarious, and heartfelt novel about the choices we make, the people we choose, and the moments that make a life worth reliving. Well, this sounds really interesting. Sort of like a groundhog's day kind of thing where you keep reliving the same day over and over again i guess cool and that is all in this box okay i really like that box so we had the tote bag the wallet the bookmark set the library mug the enamel pin the hogwarts pillowcase and then the book very very solid box i am super happy with it next one okay just want to show you this box super cute too. Okay. What does it say here? What is a bookshelf other than a treasure chest for a curious mind? Okay. Looks like this. And this was the June box. Summer Romance Reads. Are you ready for some romance this summer? Our June Summer Romance Reads box will have you kicking back and falling in love with some of your favorite book boyfriends all over again. We couldn't resist including items inspired by some of our favorite romances in this box, such as The Fault in Our Stars, The Kissing Booth, To All the Boys I've Loved Before, and Summer of Salt. Can't get enough Soma romance? Neither can we. 
That's why this June box will feature not one, but two brand new swoon-worthy hardcover books. One is a classic tale of enemies to lovers, while the other is about finding yourself and falling in love, even if you're a K-pop star or a paparazzi. We are so excited to announce we worked with Naomi Lord on the most adorable piece for this box. This is such a cute and fun design from one of our favorite summertime rom-coms. Okay, oh, we got worms. Worms. Okay, now that I got those out of the way, first thing I see here is this little baggie. So there's a tin here and a little card. Wickwish, Holly Go Lightly, Rose, Lily, Mandarin, and Sandalwood. This is solid perfume. Never love a wild thing. If you let yourself love a wild thing, you'll end up looking at the sky. Wickwish.com. Okay, so we slide it open. Ooh, that smells really good. Okay, so this is a solid perfume. Looks like that. And it's just this little rubs on. It has like a, it's like a floral and baby powder kind of smell. I'm not sure why. Maybe the sandalwood is the baby powder smell or the lily is. I don't know. Okay, then we've got something wrapped in bubble wrap. Okay, what is this? I have to look. Okay, this is the Bookalicious Snack Cup. Did you spend too long reading that last chapter and now you have to dash out the door? Don't worry, you can eat on the go with this bookalicious snack cup designed by Kirster Kronk and maybe even get a few more pages in too. Okay, so it looks like this. I don't know if you can see it, but it says bookalicious here. And there's like a bubble thing on top and a spoon here. So this unscrews and then also the little bowl unscrews. So you could maybe do like yogurt, like fruit and yogurt in here and then your granola or something in here and keep it separate until you're ready to mix them up or something. That's pretty nifty. It's super cute. Okay, next we have a cute keychain. This is the Reading in the Wild keychain, and it is so cute. A little fox sitting on a bench and reading a book. Adorable. And then we have a little journal here. It says, Follow Your Dreams, They Know the Way. And there is this little elastic-y thing. To hold it closed which is good not only because it keeps it closed but also because this is not centered with here it's centered with from here over and that would really bother me if this wasn't there to kind of separate it because I'm OCD and it's just lined paper and there's a little ribbon bookmark which is super cute and yeah that's adorable. And then we have what looks like a book sleeve. <laughs> it says, never trust anyone who has not brought a book with them. Lemony Snicket. So on the back, it looks like this. And on the front, it looks like that. And it's just black on the inside. Super cute. Then we have a bookmark. It says, once you have read a book you care about, some part of it is always with you. Louis L'Amour. Oh, and on the back, it says the same thing, uh, but it's a different picture. So, looks like that. And on the back, it looks like that. And I'm very excited about this book. I've heard good things. And it comes with some bookish goodies, too. So we have a bookmark of somebody sitting there and reading. And it's a shelf love bookmark. And then a signed book plate for the book. The book is You Must Not Miss by Katrina Leno. It's a rather thin book too. Let's see. 
It's only 290 pages and it's gray and pink with silver foil font. So the letter from the author says, Dear Shelf Love readers, You Must Not Miss is a book that's so dear to my heart and I am so excited I get to share it with you. I hope you love Magpie, our dear protagonist, but do be careful, she bites, XX Katrina. Oh, I just noticed that the Shelf Love bookmarks match the cover of the little magazine. So, or the little card thing. Okay. Okay, and then the last one of these boxes that I have looks like that. Okay, I was wrong about what months they were. Okay, so that first one was April, and what was on the back was actually talking about the May box. And then that last one that I opened was the May box, and on the back it talks about the June box, which is what I have here. So this is the June box, and then the theme for July is Under the Stars, Under the Stars Reads. So that is their theme for July. We've got some more worms. I hate worms. I guess these do kind of have like fandom stuff, just different kind of fandom stuff, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so this one has a two books, which is super exciting. That was the hint that it told us in the other one. There is a cute little coin purse here, but it's in a plastic bag. This is super stinking cute. So this is inspired by To All the Boys I've Loved Before. It's a coin purse, and, but it's a letter being mailed to Peter Kavinsky, and it's got the address and all of that. And oh, how cute is that? Just a little coin purse on a little keychain kind of thing. I think that's super cute. And then we have a sleep mask inspired by The Fault in Our Stars. It says, I fell in love the same way you fall asleep, slowly and then all at once. That's a perfect quote for a sleep mask. Perhaps Marty will want to use this one. He has been using my other one that I have that is a uh, pink and fluffy. And <laughs> I think he'd probably prefer this one. But it looks like that. And stretchy. Then we've got some tea. Penelope Fernway's Magical Love Struck Ice Tea. And this is Rubios Hibiscus Ginger Dried Lemon Peel, Dried Orange Peel, and Blue Corn Flowers. Cool. This is from Summer of Salt. I just recently read that. And then we have our Shelf Love bookmark, which again matches our card here. Oh my gosh, how cute. I guess this is a little spoon for stirring your tea. And it's uh, like oil slick colors and it's a heart at the bottom. How cute. I don't know if you can see the oil slick colors of it. Like the handle is all green and yellow. And then we have a little magnetic bookmark. This is from the kissing booth. And this is like a heavy duty bookmark. This thing's kind of heavy. And it's not just a little strip of magnet. It's like the entire thing is magnet. So that's pretty cool. I imagine it might be a little heavy on the page though, so you may have to actually put a few pages between it. So the first book we have here is Somewhere Only We Know by Maureen Goo. And I have another Maureen Goo book here, right here. It's a, I Believe in a Thing Called Love. Okay, so let's read the letter from her. Dear Shelf Love Reader, have you noticed that the rom-com is back? After a very dark period in our history, we're finally seeing a resurgence of this fine art form. It's maybe 
my very favorite genre of storytelling. I mean, romance mixed with comedy, perfection. Somewhere Only We Know is my for real rom-com novel. It's a modern day retelling of one of my favorite movies, Roman Holiday. Instead of a European princess, I have Lucky, K-pop royalty. And in place of a jaded American journalist, we have a newbie tabloid photographer. I love getting to know these two characters and have them fall hard for each other over the course of one unforgettable day. And not only do they fall in love, but they have to figure out how to take control of their own destinies. For me, a great love story goes beyond swoons when the romance is pivotal to changing people for the better. It's what I believe happens in the best relationships, and it's what I've said in three weddings I've officiated. Lucky is a star at the top of her game, but finds herself unhappy and feeling guilty about it. Jack resists the idea of a boring grown-up life, but yearns for more. And it's this yearning that brings them together, along with some major attraction because they are two grade A cuties. My favorite rom-coms have great banner, chemistry flying off the page or screen, and characters you root for from beginning to end. I truly hope Somewhere Only We Know delivers that for you this summer. Happy reading, Maureen. This sounds really cute. And then the other book in this box is Fake It Till You Break It by Jen P. Nigan. This is another short book too. It's only 295 pages. And the letter from her says... Dear Shelf Love readers, I'm so thrilled to have Fake It Till You Break It to be included in your June Summer Love Box. Although I love all genres, YA rom-coms have a special place in my heart. Obviously. There's just something so utterly addicting about the rush of feelings and tingles that you get from reading a really good rom-com. A couple of swoon-worthy kisses and witty conversations won't hurt either. Hopefully you'll feel the same way after you Fake It Till You Break It. Mia and Jake have been shoved together their whole lives and decided enough is enough. They decided to fake date to get their moms off their backs, which is pretty hard. Add in Korean face masks, meteor showers, and dim sum double dates, and they soon realize that getting rid of each other may be harder than they ever thought. This book was especially fun to write because I got to mix in my love for Korean dramas and pretend it's for work. I hope you end up loving Mia and Jake as much as I do. Happy reading. Love, Jen. This also sounds super cute, and I can't wait to read this too. Oh, okay. I am such a big fan of this box now. I cannot wait to get more from them. I definitely think I may be a new subscriber soon. Okay, well, that is all I have, and this battery is about to die again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye! Digger says bye.